Do you ever wonder why so many marriages struggle? And have you ever thought, maybe my expectations are just too high? Hi, I'm Sharon Pope. I am the love and relationship coach for women who are struggling in disconnected marriages and trying to figure out, can they stay and make it work? Or is the only answer to leave? Today we're going to be talking about expectations in our marriages. So first of all, marriage began as a means to increase wealth and power for a family. Men would choose the woman to marry based upon her ability to birth and raise children as heirs to the family's land and wealth. It didn't have anything to do with love or passion. As a matter of fact, men typically would find love and passion with their mistresses outside the marriage. But now, today, our partners and our marriages carry an enormous amount of responsibility. We expect our partners to be our best friend, our closest confidant, and our safe place to be loved without conditions. Simultaneously, we expect our partners to be the source of limitless passion, deepest connection, and spontaneous adventure. We expect them to be our lovers and our partners, our singular source of both security, and desire. And with expectations like that, really, it's no wonder most couples aren't feeling fulfilled in their marriages. Now, we don't have to lower our expectations, nor do we have to suppress our desires. I'm never one to tell you to do that. But this means that we could open ourselves to the possibility of not needing one person to be the single source through which every greatest need and deepest desire is met. It's a tall order. I am fortunate enough to have a friendship that provides me unconditional love and acceptance. I have a business that provides me with plenty of challenge, growth, and intellectual stimulation. In my community of strong, powerful women, fill me with laughter while I have a team of talented professionals around me to help me feel supported. Now, my husband, he has a very important job. He gives me someone to love. Probably two decades ago, I read this funny, cheeky book called The Sweet Potato Queen's Book of Love, a fallen Southern Bell's look at love, life, men, marriage, and being prepared. Now, outside of laughing a lot while I was reading it, I only remember one thing from the book. There are five men that every woman needs in their life at all times. A man you can dance with, a man you can laugh with, a man who can fix things, a man who can pay for things, and a man you can have great sex with. But just don't expect to get all those things from the same man. Now, I'm being lighthearted about this, but seriously, we do need to take a look at how much pressure we put on our marriages and then wonder why we feel like our needs aren't getting fully met. When marriage began, we were able to get our needs met through a community of people. And our spouses do not have to be the single source through which all of our needs get met. It's a very tall order, and no wonder we're kind of failing at it. If this was helpful to you, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. If you want to be notified every time I post a new video, just ring the red bell in the upper right corner. And if you are ready, to really get the clarity that you need about your struggling and disconnected marriage, then there's a link in the notes so that you can schedule a complimentary truth and clarity session and we can explore whether or not there's a fit for us to work together. Take good care.